football is possibly the most competitive industry in the world because of its huge private and public investments, often more driven by egos than by sound business models. Because of its many restrictions imposed by national and international political interests, because of its socially charged nature and its cultural dependency, it's obviously easier to increase the market share than to increase the culture share. If so many are still hypnotized by it, it's because football is a uniquely compelling industry. It is the one that sways the masses. If power still exists, it will be found in football. Because of its many challenges, football needs to find a very special breed of leaders. They need to be visionaries, capable of synthesizing complex correlations. They need to possess keen business knowledge, be politically savvy. Most importantly, they need to be driven by virtues rather than just skills in order to fulfill football social commitment, be culturally sensitive and opportunistic. They also need to be able to face new media because by the very fact that is exposing them to the scrutiny of the masses, it is redefining the very concept of accountability. As the largest new media football community in the world, it is our mission of Gold.com to find and support those leaders who will secure the future of the sport we love the most. So far, Mr. Mohamed bin Hamman, the president of the Asian Football Confederation, has evinced many of the qualities required. He is in the right place at the right time, since everyone agrees that for football to become the world sport, he now needs to grow in Asia. He has courageously taken long-term commitment rather than securing popularity through short-term fixes by imposing to Asian leagues strict standards in order to build long-term business stability. He has substantially raised the profile of the AFC Champions League and the AFC Cup, making both two of the most popular events in football. He has also managed the many Asian political, social and cultural differences. I'm here with uh, Mr. Mohamed Minaman, President of the Asian Football Confederation. Mr. President, for football to become the world sport, now needs to grow in Asia. It needs to become world most followed, Asian most followed sport. How can you help with that? Uh, well, actually, the, we all recognize that the future of football will be Asia. And uh, for that, this is actually the slogan of AFC. But uh, the way is quite long. And uh, we think that Asia, to start to be a hub or another center for advanced football, needs to be restructuring its clubs, its leagues, and all its related uh, football uh, organizations. We do believe in ourselves in Asia. We do believe in our talents. We do believe in our uh, economy. And we do believe that uh, the fans in Asia are, uh, you know, uh, appreciating the football as the, as the most important game on, uh, on, on the earth. So I, I think restructuring our football from professional a point of view is the, is the key for the success. MLS has shown in the US that despite the fact that it is the most played sport with 20 million participants, football is not yet successful because it, has, it lacks a business model. How can you bring it in Asia considering that even Europe is struggling with that? 
Well, uh, this, is, uh, this is what I, I, I tried to answer in the, in the earlier question, that we now trying to fix the, the professional football in this, in this first 10 countries. And uh, yes, we have established a criteria. If you want to play in the, in, in the international, in, in the fo professional football, club has to be a, a commercial entity. It has to have number one, two, three, four, you know, all these criteria. It has to have marketing strategy, media strategy. It has to have the development strategy. It has, you know, all these things. You have to have a headquarters. You have to have professional staff around, ar around you. You have to have uh, a plan for developing or increasing your fan base and, and, and so on. So actually, most of the countries now cannot fulfill these criteria. Including, of course, I, if I understand you very well, including India, you know. And, uh, uh, but this is the criteria. Now, you want to be professional, you want to play in the professional arena, professional football, you have to fulfill these things. You have to give us uh, you, you, your uh, auditing report per every year, see how much money the club ha willing to invest in, uh, in, in the football, how much debt you have got, how, how you can recover this debt. Actually, you are trying. We, we, are lear we learned a lot from Europe. And we want to avoid all the problems which are existed in Europe. Because the professional football in Europe has a, got a history. They are coming from maybe 100 years, you know, to here. So all these uh, procedures are, built, are uh, been made while the professionalism is exist. And our case is the opposite. We are drafting the, the, the regulations, and then we are telling people, if you want to be part of the professionalization, you have to, to fulfill this before we recognize you as a professional league or professional club. This is the, this is the difference. I may say also one thing, one thing else. For example, in Europe now, they are talking about the cap for the salaries, although maybe it is it is a market, and market has to fight, you know. But we in Asia, in a position today to set up a cap, because this is all we are building it now. And any league is willing to, to, to have a cap, for example, they are welcome to participate in our, in our competitions. If they are not willing, then OK, they have the right. But they, they, cannot, they cannot be part of, of ourselves. All these criteria, we have, we have put it in advance before we open the gate for the full professionalization. Uh, you've been determined to turn the Asian fans' interest to our local uh, leagues rather than the uh, international ones. But also you seem interested to uh, see the EPL have a match here in the region. But this enforces or contradicts your strategy? No, I, I, I think it is, it, uh, it is enforcing our strategy. Football is international, uh, you know, commodity. It is entertainment. You know, in, in your uh, in your life, uh, if you if you will not treat football as an art, which you want to go and see, if you want to, if you don't want to treat the stadium as a theater, you are lacking a lot of things. And while you are, you know, uh, uh, you are looking for entertainment, you don't care actually if the if the singer is coming from the United States or from Italy or from Asia, it art is art. So the same thing is happening in our case with our football. So you would like to see European football? It is an art. You have to see it. You want to see South American football? It is, it, it is an art. You want to see it. And we would like also to present our Asian arts and artists you know, to, to the world. I will not hate at all to see that our football, when they played, uh, and loved and, uh, and, and, and looked for or after in, in Europe or South America. Same way, I'm not hesitant at all, actually, to invite uh, European, European clubs or South American clubs to come and, and play and you know, show themselves, expose themselves to the Asian fans. In the end of the day, it is all football. Yes, I don't want to see that any football blocking our ambition to, be, to become higher and higher.